Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, tuturuan ko kayo paano i-upgrade ang isang MacBook Pro 2012. So, welcome sa technical side ng ating video. So, what's wrong with this MacBook Pro? Well, this is a 2012 MacBook Pro. So, yung battery niya is hindi na siyang nag-hold ng charge. Yung kanyang hard drive is a mechanical hard drive. And yung kanyang RAM is only 4GB. So, guys, kailangan talaga natin i-upgrade yung MacBook Pro na ito. Guys, i-flip na natin itong MacBook Pro at papakita ko sa inyo yung mga placement ng mga screws. Guys, dun sa upper right corner ng ating MacBook Pro is meron tatlong screws na medyo mahaba. So, yan yung una natin tatanggalin. And yung rest guys is yung mga maliliit na screws na lang. So, guys, hindi ko na kayo pahihirapan at inamagi ko na lang kapag tanggal ng ating mga screws. And of course guys, let's just keep it aside para hindi siya mawawala. And let's do it for the remaining of the screws. So guys, imamagic ko na lang siya para mabilis. And of course guys, kailangan natin siyang itabi para of course ayaw natin na meron na mawawala ng screws. Diba? So guys, pupuksan na natin yung back cover ng ating oh, wow. laptop. At... Bago tayo magsimula guys, ang unang-una natin tatanggalin is yung battery connector. Why? Hindi na nga gumagana yung battery. Well, it may take some charge or magkosya ng static na magkakos ng hard dun sa ating laptop. So, yan yung unang-una natin tatanggalin. So guys, gagamit tayo ng plastic na tool para matanggal natin yung battery connector. So, you can even use your finger as well. Pero mag-iingat ka lang dapat. Light lang. Ayan, natanggal na natin siya. Since guys, natanggal na natin yung battery connector, safe na natin nice. i-upgrade yung ating MacBook Pro. Sa so, una natin pag di is yung ating mechanical hard drive, which is very due for an update. So guys, ang ating ipapalit is a Kingston 480GB SSD. So guys, this is a major upgrade sa ating MacBook Pro. Kasi ito talaga yung magpapabilis sa kanya. So open na natin siya at ready na natin install sa ating MacBook Pro. Okay guys, dito sa hard drive part is tatanggalin natin yung mga screw dito sa upper and sa bottom part. Which is guys, is iba magic ko na lang. Ayan. At ilalagay natin siya sa lalagyanan para hindi siya mawawala. At madali natin siya mahanap later on pag ikakabit na natin yung SSD. Now guys, ready na tayo na i-lift tong mechanical hard drive. Makita kayo ng maliit na strip dyan. And make sure guys na iingatan yung flex na huwag masira. Kasi pag nasira ito, mahirap na siyang palitan. So guys, ito, tatanggalin lang natin tong hard drive connector niya, like so. Ngayon guys, na natanggal na natin yung connector dun sa ating mechanical hard drive, merong apat na screws na nakakabit ito, which is ito yung ililipat natin sa ating SSD. So guys, gagamit tayo ng special screwdriver, which is papakita ko sa screen. At guys, malahin na kayo to figure out kung ito ba yung mag-fit sa inyong screwdrivers. So guys, papakita ko sa inyo paano ko ito tatanggalin. Yung isa lang. Tapos yung rest guys, is mamadjigin ko na lang kasi hirap naman ipakita ko sa inyo yung full process pa, di ba? So ayan guys, yung magic. So itong screws ay itatabi lang natin dyan para hindi sila mawala. At yung ating mechanical hard drive is isasantabi lang muna natin at ilabas ang SSD. So, ito guys, is ilalagay na natin yung isang screw. Turo ko lang sa inyo paano yung isa. Para sabihin nyo naman nag-demo ako. At yung the rest guys is, you know the drill. Imamagic na lang natin siya. Ayan guys, so ganito dapat ang kanyang magiging tsura. Make sure guys, yung ating mga screws ay very tightened. So, ikakapit na natin yung connector ng hard drive sa ating SSD. At ipi-place natin like so. And guys, please don't forget na ilagay itong ating hard drive ah! laser sa upper part ng ating hard drive. And isa-screw natin siya together with the upper screws and the lower screws. 
So this time guys, hindi ko siya i-magic at ipapakita ko sa inyo o paano ko siya isusunod. Fast version nga lang. Para hindi kayo maboard. And make sure guys na tighten yung ating mga screws. Next up guys is yung ating battery. So tatanggalin lang natin itong uh, stickers lightly. To make sure na matanggal lang yung mga dikit-dikit dyan. Para madali nating ma-lift yung ating battery. So like this. Okay, nakasabit. So, once ito ay na-clear na, merong dalawang screws dito sa right and sa left. Yan guys, since natanggalan natin siya, meron dito strip na pwede nating hilahin at careful lang at tatanggalin natin itong battery. It should come up really quick. So, I think blue ng battery. Okay guys, the next step is to upgrade the RAM. Kasi dito yung pagkakataon na meron tayong space na mag-upgrade ng RAM. So guys, ipapalit natin ay dalawang 8GB RAM, which is equivalent to 16GB, which is the maximum capacity of a MacBook Pro 2012. Nice. So let's go. It looks so badass kasi kulay block yung RAMs ng MacBook Pro. So guys, madali lang naman magkabit ng RAM. Bruh. So ito yung ating 2 8GB RAMs. So, ikabit natin yung isa sa bottom part, make it firm, and just press down, and that should do the trick, like so. And we'll do the last remaining RAM, like so. Same thing we did for the first one, and we should be good to go. Yung next naman, guys, is palitan natin yung ating MacBook battery na si Rana. So guys, sobrang nahihirapan ako makahanap ng original na MacBook Pro 2012 battery. So buti na lang may kakilala ko na nag-work sa Blue Chip. Ang pangalan niya ay si Miss Jana. Maraming salamat sa iyo at tinulungan mo ako sa isang original na battery. Ikaw na talaga ang the best salesperson na kailangan ko. Oh, wow! Nice. Okay guys, ito na yung bagong battery. At napakadali siyang ikakabit. So just do like this and make sure that you put back the screws. And make sure guys, again, na secure siya. So papakita ko sa inyo, papas forward ko na lang siya. Now guys, that everything is okay, ibabalik na natin itong battery connector. Make sure na firm yung pagkakalagay natin para mag-detect siya ng charge. So next guys is ikakapit na natin yung back cover niya. At dating gawin guys, unahin natin yung mga screws na medyo mahaba. Like so, yung top 3 screws. And last but not the least is yung remaining na mga screws. And we're good to go. Like so. At make sure na walang kulang na screws guys. Okay guys, so pupunasan natin yung ating MacBook Pro. Kasi guys, lalagyan natin siya ng bagong case. Oh, wow! So, ito yung case niya. Pink na pink. Kasi guys, kagamitin ito ng aking girlfriend. And gusto ko siya nag-edit ng aking videos. So, kaya ako na pink. So guys, make sure na i-follow nyo lang yung um, back cover. Kasi so, naka-place yung space na yun. Like so. And, i-snap nyo lang siya at makiklik siya. Uh, make sure na, and steady siya. Next naman guys, is yung front cover. Which is, pupunasan natin siya. So, sanitize natin siya. And, ilalagay na natin yung front cover niya. Like so. Ayan. So, ang ganda na tignan yung front natin. So, para siyang bago. Alright. Okay guys, so gagamitin na natin itong MacBook charger. Kung natatandaan nyo guys, ito yung MacBook charger na inayos ko sa akin kung ng Tech Tuesdays. So, ikabit na natin itong charger na to using the MagSafe and let's plug it to the outlet. Ayun na nga guys, 
na ikabit ko na siya sa outlet at makakakita kayo ng green indicator na meaning na connected na siya at magto-turn orange meaning nagcha-charge na yung battery natin. So it's time to open the Mac. Okay guys, so you open yung MacBook Pro by pressing the Alt, Command, and R and press on the power button. So hold nyo lang siya guys until lumabas yung logo ng internet. Like yung globe thing. Bruh! And then, pwede nyo natanggalin yung kamay nyo and wait it to load and it will ask you to connect to your Wi-Fi. So, if I fast forward ko na lang guys. Oh shit! Here we go again. Do it! Okay guys, so while waiting, lalabas itong uh, Mac OS recovery. Make sure guys, na connected kayo sa internet. So, there's an option to reinstall the Mac operating system. And then, it's gonna ask you to install Mac OS Catalina. So, ito guys, so hindi ako connected sa Wi-Fi. So, I have to connect to the internet for it to work. Kasi ang gagawin ito guys, ita-download niya yung operating system oh, from wow. the Apple servers to your MacBook Pro. So, yung latest na OS niya guys is Mac OS Catalina, which is I think is a good OS pa naman. So, just accept the terms and conditions. And then, you have to select the hard drive kung saan yung install yung OS. And guys, I'm not gonna click on next kasi guys, na-install ko na yung operating system dito sa MacBook Pro. First guys, depende yung bilis nung install ng ating operating system sa internet niyo of course. So, let's boot the Mac na guys, which is a really, really good improvement within the boot times. Lalo na at meron na tayo SSD at 16GB RAM. Okay guys, so we just have to type in our password here and it will load up a bit. And once we see the desktop of the Mac, which is quite fast, so pupunta tayo dun guys sa uh, battery options and settings. Papalitan lang natin yung uh, duration to never. Kasi guys, ayoko na nag-sleep or natutulog yung MacBook Pro ko. So, i-close lang natin to. And then, we'll go to the About Mac. At ipapakita ko sa inyo yung RAM, which is 16 GB. So, that's very good. That's 8 gigs of RAM each. At ito yung ating SSD. And yeah, this is the whole overhaul of our MacBook Pro 2012. Hey guys, sana meron kayo natutunan sa video. Kung nagustuhan nyo man to guys, click on the like button, comment and share, and subscribe if you haven't already. And click on the notification bell para sa mga new uploads ko. And I'll see you on the next video.